welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making for you today is traditional Newfoundland Teltons and a spin on Frozies. I want to explain a little bit about uh, when I say a spin on Frozies. Um, just recently I read a little article in the Down Ohm um, as a Newfoundland uh, magazine that we have here and it talked a little bit about Newfoundland and different ways of making traditional uh, Teltons and one article was talking a little bit about Frozies and this is a deep fried uh, dough where traditionally we will make a pan fried dough. So let's uh, get started and I'll show you what we need to do. Okay, next what we're going to start with is our dough. Now um, I'm not going to make the dough on this episode because um, as you would know as our uh, viewers we got a recipe on there homemade bread and Towton's of course um, and it shows you how to make the dough so refer back to that episode to get your dough ready for the Towton's so um, what we'll do now we'll get started on what we need to do how we should cut our dough for this Okay, so what we're going to be doing, of course, this is our dough. We're going to be taking small portions. Um, on the episode of homemade bread, um, it'll also show you right at the end of that um, video how you can do towns. But I just wanted to do an episode on its own of homemade towns because it's such a traditional meal for Newfoundlanders. So you just you can make it any shapes, but this is going to be our fried Teltons that I'm doing now. So just a small portion. If it's a little sticky, that's fine. You can take a little bit of flour and sprinkle over each one if it would help you. And just make it about this size. If you like it bigger, you could make it bigger. But then take in consideration that when you're frying it, it may be a little bit longer frying time. Okay, so just continue doing that and uh, until you make three or four. So what we're going to do now is take these over to our stove and start frying them. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is uh, the fried Teltons. Um, we're going to stay on that one first and then I will flip to our Frozies. But we'll fry our Teltons first. So we're going to go about a, a tablespoonful of butter and you can use real butter or you could use, let's drop a little bit there, um, whatever kind you would like to put. Real butter is what I got here. And a tablespoonful of olive oil. And the olive oil is going to help the butter for not burning the Teltons. So now uh, we're going to let this melt into our pan. Okay, so I'm going to put our Teltons in the fryer, or in the, in the pan. Um, so again, don't you don't have to have it very big, but you do want to have it a nice size so that uh, you've got a, a nice helping of Teltons. And um, we're going to let it fry on one side until golden brown, and then we're going to flip them over and do the same thing on the other side. You can also add more butter or olive oil. Okay, so we're ready now to flip them over. See, nice and golden on that side. We're going to do the same on the other, it's nice and golden. And I'm going to add now just a tiny bit, sorry about my arm, of butter again, and a tiny bit of olive oil, because I want for it to be able to look the same on the other side. You don't need to overcrowd your, uh, your frying pan. Three seems like it's more than enough in that pan. So let's wait till it's golden brown. Okay, so these are ready to take out and they're golden brown on the other side as well. So this is the other side. I'm going to put them into uh, a pan with a little tiny bit of uh, paper towel or parchment paper just to drain off some of the oil. I'm going to turn this pot off now. And uh, what I'm going to do now is show you the things you can do with this uh, Teltons just to dress it off a little. Okay, so now I'm going to add about a half a teaspoonful of butter. And what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to fry an egg. You're going to say, what have an egg got to do with Telton? But this is a part of ways that we can have our Teltons 
and change it up a little bit. Um, uh, it is still a traditional Telton, but it just gives you a little bit more of a variety. So what I'm going to do is fry this one, not fully fried, maybe medium, and then I'm going to take my sharp knife and I'm going to cut into our Telton. Okay, so I'm just going to cut into this Telton. And you see the inside, and it's nice and cooked. And what I'm going to do is, when my egg is done, we're going to put that egg in the center of this Telton, and I'll show you what it looks like. So I'm going to take this egg out, I'm going to put it in, not in the center of my Telton, but just in between, and I'm going to fold it over, and it's going to look something like this. I'm going to put it to the side, I'm going to show you the, the view of it when we get back to our counter. Okay, so this is our um, fried egg with our Teltons. Of course, I'm showing you over at the stove. So that's what it looks like. So now what we're going to do, uh, while I'm continuing frying our Teltons, I'm going to show you what we're going to make our frozies. So this is just a little small piece of dough. I'm going to take a little bit of flour and just put air in my plate. And we're going to take a few of these. We don't want to overcrowd the deep fryer. Again, I'm not promoting deep frying, but this is just um, one that I noticed, like I said, in the down home, and, and it was very interesting to me. So I tried it, and I just dressed it up a little bit, and I just wanted to bring it to my viewers because I know if it excited me, it definitely would do the same for you guys. So you, I'm just making about six here now of just little small pieces of dough and we're going to take it to our deep fryer and uh, I'll show you what we'll do next. Okay, so I'm just using a vegetable oil into my fryer. So we're going to take each one. So I just got six. I'm going to just drop them down into the fat and we're going to let them go for a couple of minutes. Um, it may not be totally golden brown, but you don't necessarily need them golden brown. You need them cooked, and I'll just show you what they look like. Okay, so this is what they're going to look like while they're in the fryer. So we'll just flip them in a little while onto the other side, and then after we'll take them out and drain them. Okay, while I'm waiting for my frozies to do, I'm just making another little batch of the Teltons to get ready for us. Okay, so our frozies are ready. They're golden brown. I'm just gonna let them strain for a second there now and we'll take them back to our bench. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting our little frozies. Now one would say, why are they calling a deep fried dough frozies? Um, I can't describe, I can't explain that one to you, but uh, it was just, Something that I read, a family in Newfoundland, that's what they used to, to make, and that was the name they put on it. So, you know, it was exciting for all of us just to try it. What I'm doing here now, um, I'm using cinnamon and icing sugar. I'm putting it in my little sifter, and I'm sifting it over the top of the frozies. Now you can, like you said, do whatever makes you feel comfortable and happy with. This is what I've tried it with, and I thought it was quite delicious. So um, this is our frozies with cinnamon and icing sugar, our Teltons just fried with butter and olive oil, and our Telton with a fried egg. So um, also I got uh, molasses, I got some two types of jams, but you can use what, whatever jam you like. And this is basically, again, for dipping our Teltons into, um, and, and it makes it absolutely delicious. I mean, if you try one, one is not enough, for sure. So this is a few things that we can do with uh, our dough that we would make from our homemade uh, bread. And again, refer back to my bread recipe to get the dough recipe so that you can make all of these wonderful things. Um, plus, what's left over in dough, because I'm sure you don't want a full batch of Teltons, and you may, because you can freeze these quite easy, and you can also freeze these little small frozies. Um, uh, 
you know, you can make bread out of what's left out of your dough. Um, and I'm, again, I cut into one just a little moment ago for you to see what it's like uh, when I put the egg in the middle of it. And you can cut into it. It looked like this on the inside. Um, and you could put butter. You could put all sorts of jams. Um, whatever you, I mean, traditionally we would use molasses. But again, you could use whatever you would like to, uh, to put inside. So um, this uh, ends our episode of homemade Teltons. Um, I hope this was helpful for you. Please share with your family and friends um, and subscribe to Bandida's Kitchen so you can get more of these wonderful dishes, uh, traditional Newfoundland dishes. So thank you once again for joining us for Bandida's Kitchen and you have a wonderful day.